Have you noticed earthquakes and weather events are gaining intensity? In my country, there's been a dozen quakes in the last month and a devastating cyclone. One could feel helpless in the face of such events, but that's the last thing we are. Science from the US and Russia shows that wherever you are, you can physically contribute to seismic and weather stability. We're about to explore that science through the wisdom of two great teachers, including Edgar Cayce, who once revealed, where there were 10 even, many a city, many a nation has been kept from destruction. As well as Eckhart Tolle, who first coined the term frequency holder. And this human being affects far more people than is obvious on the surface of things, because whatever happens to one affects the totality. In the Soviet Union, a physicist named A. L. Chajewski was evaluating data from the Sun. He found that 80% of most significant negative human events in history occurred during periods of maximum solar activity. But when the Sun was quiet, humanity seemed quiet. Why? Chajewski concluded that solar activity influences human consciousness, light, electromagnetism. It sounds reasonable, but which way does this cause and effect connection really flow? American scientists sought answers. Setting up random number generators across the Earth, they measured how human consciousness affected these devices, which started bugging out on what seemed an ordinary morning, September the 11th, 2001. Smooth digital patterns suddenly became huge chaotic spikes as events unfolded. Mass human consciousness focused on a single event, intensely altered electronics across the globe. And that wasn't all. Satellites recorded huge fluctuations in the Earth's magnetic field at the same time, which had never been seen before. Then, something more amazing. On the 14th of September 2001, a global prayer took place, with millions meditating for peace. As they did, the electronic and geomagnetic readings decreased steadily in the opposite direction, becoming more stable. Since then, similar patterns have been observed, making scientists conclude that it is we who influence our environment, for better or worse, which supports the teachings of Edgar Cayce, the world-famous sleeping prophet, who taught that all things were connected through the one source, including our consciousness, and that peace would emerge in our world as peace consumed our hearts, person to person. Ye cannot pray, peace, peace, when there is no peace in thine own heart and soul, he said, suggesting that through service to others, kind, truthful action, and acknowledging our shared oneness, we come to literally radiate life, joy, and peace, which stabilizes worldly vibrations, and where small numbers of people, as few as even 10, could change the destiny of cities and nations. Casey's statement, where there were 10 even, many a city, many a nation, has been kept from destruction, lines up with the modern day research of Dr. David Orm Johnson in his studies where firm evidence suggests that the square root of just 1% of humanity's population when meditating can significantly reduce war, improve the weather, reduce car accidents, and drive up economic growth. That's just under 10,000 people. 10,000 who could save billions of lives and the planet we live on. If we go back to the late 70s, disaster confronted the military industrial complex. People were not only demanding peace en masse, but were learning how to create it, resulting in a worldwide decline in social conflict. And this was bad for business. So a media push was made to divide the peoples of the world. Now, Fractured across social, political, cultural, and racial lines, our minds seem more divided than ever. But this is fueled by an illusion, designed to keep us from feeling peace and to isolate us from each other. Some don't want a stable world, preferring the profit and power that comes from war and division. We can see how this is affecting our planet. But these are a tiny minority who, when enough of us awaken to the game they've been playing, will have to play by the rules of our game. My advice? Shut out any sources of information that encourage you to be angry, fearful, and judgmental of others. Tune into guys like this. Many of you recognize that there may seem to be, from one perspective, an acceleration of negativity, an acceleration of violence. But really, this is because you're at the end of the cycle of limitation and you have to get it all out on the table and deal with it now because there isn't that much time left to deal with these things. You have to get all of the negativity out on the table in front of your face so that you can consciously decide what kind of a world you really prefer to have. So now that you know you're strong enough to deal with it, you're getting it all out of your system as fast as you can. Having the most 
extreme examples come up because you are strong enough to deal with it. We have the power to solve our global problems. And it's not really about force or any external action, but more about who we are within, the frequency we hold and radiate. Bring your absolute focus to the living energy of this moment to find peace beyond mind. Hold that state and become a frequency holder. Frequency holder I call somebody who is not called upon by a desire or a, a destiny to, to do some, something big, but somebody who is happy uh, doing small th things with great care, love, and, uh, and most importantly, doing small things in a state of presence. This person then embodies the presence in his or her work. Presence is a state of being where awareness shifts away from thoughts of the past and future into the living energy of the present moment. Entering this awareness creates peace and sets up a coherent energy field within yourself, influencing physical health, the people around you, and our planet as a whole. And this human being affects far more people than is obvious on the surface of things, because whatever happens to one affects the totality, because all humans are connected at a deeper level. There is such a thing as a collective human consciousness. That's how to create peace and stability on our planet, a power you have. But what if things are a little bit crazy and you're finding it hard to access peace in the present moment? Well, to learn from the master himself, watch this video here. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like, much appreciated, and thanks for watching.